welcome to 498 Nerf and today I'd like to introduce you uh, to a project that I've been working on over the last few months. This is Foxfire MBS. Now Foxfire is not a blaster. It is a fully 3D printed modular blaster system and probably the best way to explain what I mean to that is to take this thing over onto the bench and uh, to show you. Okay, let's say you're at a Nerf War and the early rounds have no FPS cap. So you're rocking your Firefox, uh, you've got the four flywheel front end, you've, you're hitting close to 200 FPS and you're just taking people out. But then the main event comes and there's, a, there's an FPS cap on that one. It's 130 FPS. You can't run it. So... To highlight the modular aspect of this, let's show what you would do to take your Foxfire, break it down, put another housing on, and have something that then conforms uh, to that FPS cap. So what this it works on a hook and slot system, and it's held together. Both the front and the back are connected. Both the, the core and the housing are connected to the receiver by screws and this hook and slot uh, mechanism. So you undo two screws here. Maybe we will, if I can get my screwdriver in. One out. Take the second one out. And then this slides up and then it comes out. And you can see up here the hook that goes into these slots on the receiver. And then there's also a, a knob down here that fits into these slots down here. And then you see your screw port. And that's the way the different components connect together. And then the electrically, I'm using an XT60 flowing in that slides back here into the receiver. So you take this, disconnect it, take your housing that you use, take the housing that you want to put in, connect your XT60 back up, it would help if I did it the right way, slide that back in here, and then that hooks down into the hooks, the slots line up, put your screws back in, and you're ready to go. Now you've got a blaster that meets the 130 FPS cap and you're ready to go and continue to go play. And this all came together in about two minutes. So in two minutes time, unhook the old one, plug in the new one, slot it back together, and you're ready to go. And this system, while it sounds, it is very sturdy. It locks it in there the way the hooks and everything, it's very sturdy. It holds together really, um, Get it down here where you can see it holds together really really well so let's uh put the um four flywheel housing back onto this uh that one's running i'm running rhinos as the first stage or neo rhinos as the first stage and michelle 2.0 is the second cage with my four flywheel open flywheel project cage and i'm using some cyclone flywheels on this so let's put this back on take it outside and and shoot it One other thing that I want to emphasize uh, about the Foxfire project is that 
as much as as, as possible to the to the degree that I can. I'm utilizing community sourced parts um, where they are available and. There's a lot of ways this comes in. Probably the easiest way to highlight that or to talk about that is with a flywheel cage. This system does not have its own flywheel cage. Instead, it's set up to use any third-party flywheel cage that fits into a strife or a rapid strike. So instead of putting a cage in here into the housing, I've put uh, screw ports that match the screw port alignment for the strife and for the rapid strike. So if you want an artifact red cage, drops right in. You want to open flywheel cage, which is what I'm using on, on these, drops right in. The only cage that I didn't support, and this sounds kind of weird, but it's actually the stock ones because they had some weird geometries on there that, that just kind of made things out. But pretty much any third party cage will drop in. And that's kind of a design principle that I want to go forward with this project. Where there are community source parts, I want to integrate them and use them and not try to reinvent the wheel. So where am I going with this project? Well, over the next few weeks, I'm going to release some videos highlighting each of the different components. I'm going to do one on the, the core of Foxfire, on the receiver, on the different, uh, the two um, motor housings, uh, the pistol and the, and the P and the A that I've uh, put together. And then beyond that, I've got plans to start modeling and putting together um, other cores, maybe something full auto, uh, another receiver, possibly other front ends, possibly even a bullpup uh, blaster based on this configuration, based on this system. So I've got a lot of ideas and plans going forward. Now, linked with this video are the, uh, is the folder that contains all of the STL files. I've got them in four packages. I've got them for the, uh, for the core, for the receiver, and for the two different um, um, housings that for the blaster out there on uh, my Google Drive on 498 Nerf and I've got that link down uh, in the description below and those I've got the STL files but I've also got the, the blender files with the source files with these so if you want to take a look at this you want to print them out the STL files were there if you want to tinker with it and try to change the design and work on the design the blender files are there you can pull those down you pull those into blender and then go wild with it so anyways um, this is 498 Nerf this is the Foxfire MBS project. Thanks for watching.